from Maine. I feel like a lot has been happening in the last few weeks. Have a lot to catch you guys up on. But first I'm gonna do some yoga and then I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna fold some laundry and we'll chat. Let's just pretend, shall we, that this is not an entire 24 hours after I started filming yesterday. Let's just pretend that this is all happening right in order like I said it was going to. I did do my yoga as you saw. I did take my shower, but then I got an email about our apartment that I was pretty, that was pretty upsetting. I kind of went into a little bit of a tailspin and just really wasn't very productive for the rest of the day. Today, we are getting back on track. Like I said, I did my yoga, I did my shower, but I did not do my laundry. I don't even know where to start. Should I like kneel down? I haven't done a vlog or like, you know, talk to you guys, caught up with you guys in a really long time, I feel like. So I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of recap everything that's been going on because I have been taking a lot of videos of things. I just haven't been like talking to the camera. So I'm just gonna kind of give a full recap and catch up on what's been going on and then I'll insert clips. We're in Maine, obviously. We've been up here for a little over a week. This is our second week here. I was up here also earlier in the summer. I've been up here a few times already. My parents have a lake house that I've grown up coming to and I absolutely love it and Paul loves it. And we love coming up here because we can bring the cats and they love it. That's where we are right now. So one new big thing in our lives is that Paul got a new job. He had been freelancing, but he got like a job job. I'm so happy for him. He worked so hard to get this job. It's at a mobile gaming studio based in San Francisco, but he's working remotely, which is incredible. He found out that he got the job the last time we were up here. So we were just so excited and we went down to the dock and we had a little celebration, but the job started this week. It's Thursday, is it already Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. This job started on Monday. Starting a new job I think is always pretty overwhelming and because it's on California time, he starts around noon and then he goes to like 8.39. It's gonna be a huge adjustment for us I think to just get used to this new schedule. Neither of us have ever had a nine to five job. We've both just always had unconventional types of jobs. So we came up last week and my parents were here. So we overlapped with my parents for a few days and then Paul's mom came up toward the end of when my parents were here. So it was like all of us here for a few days. My parents have four dogs and two cats. And then we had our two cats, so it was just kind of chaotic. I have a bunch of videos of my parents' dogs that I wanna show, but I wanna give a disclaimer, a big disclaimer. All four of my parents' dogs are breeder dogs. Obviously, as a vegan, I don't agree with buying dogs from a breeder when there's something like 700,000 dogs every year that are put down or euthanized because there's no one that wants to adopt them. It's absolutely heartbreaking and I personally could never justify buying a dog from a breeder knowing that fact, but my parents are their own people. They make their own decisions. There's a lot of things I don't agree with my parents on, specifically when it comes to like our moral stance on animals in the world. You know, my parents are not vegan or vegetarian. That being said, I obviously absolutely love their dogs. It wasn't the dog's decision to be born to a breeder. It's not the fact that they're like pedigreed and beautiful that I love about them. It's like their personalities and just how fun they are. And I think you could obviously find dogs like that at a shelter. I just feel weird like showing my parents dogs because it's very obvious that they're not adopted, but they are very cute. So I will show a few clips of them. And then Paul's mom was up. We had a really great time with her. I planned a couple of um, lunches that I wanted to make that were purple carrot lunches. 
I'm gonna readjust here a little bit. I love utilizing the Purple Carrot website just for the recipes because they have so many recipes on there and you can sort through like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks even, I think, desserts. And so I just sorted to lunch and usually like sometimes I won't even use their actual recipe. I just, I just use it to get ideas or to get inspired. But this time I actually did want to use their recipes and so I picked two recipes, one we had already made before and that was the tahini rainbow salad with tempeh bacon or something. So it's just like a really nice summer salad with plums and tempeh bacon and like a tahini dressing. Again, I sort of loosely followed the recipe because I didn't make the tempeh bacon from scratch. I bought, you know, I did store bought, um, but those came out really well. And then the other thing we made was an apricot cashew cheese melt with arugula and apricot jam. In the recipe, they tell you to buy the tree line French soft cheese or whatever, but they don't tell you what kind to buy. And at Whole Foods, they only had the flavored ones. So I got the garlic and chive or garlic and herb or something. Those sandwiches were really good. Um, just like super tasty, really easy. I mean, it was literally just like spreading the cheese, spreading the apricot jam, putting the arugula on toasting the bread. Definitely recommend both of those recipes. I'll put them in the description box. And then with Paul's mom, after my parents left, we had a couple days with her. We went swimming a bunch. She loves swimming. Um, so we went in the lake with her a ton. The day she left, uh, because she was flying out of the Portland main airport, we figured we should get dinner in Portland because there's actual like restaurants there that we can go to, whereas there's not that much around here. We decided to go to this place called The Green Elephant in Portland. I had been to The Green Elephant, I think in 2009. I remember liking it. Paul's brother had gone a few months ago. His brother had come through Maine and he was like, did not like it. He like thought it was very mediocre. I was a little, honestly a little hesitant to go there and my expectations were very low. It's not an all vegan restaurant, it's vegetarian. They have, um, basically just like eggs, I think. I don't think anything really has like dairy in it, but what I love is their menu is very, very clear. You know, I love like clear communication, clearly marked, and it clearly says like, this can be made vegan by just omitting this, and pretty much everything is vegan or can be made vegan. And then they also clearly mark the gluten-free stuff, which is great for Paul. It was the best meal that I've had in a restaurant in a very, very long time. Like maybe since I was in Chicago. Everything we got was amazing. So for starters, I hope my camera's not shaking too much. I got a Thai iced tea. Obviously, usually it's made with condensed milk, but at if you're at like a vegetarian or vegan restaurant, they make it with coconut milk or whatever, some milk alternative. Um, so I got that and I just, oh God, I love Thai iced tea. There's a flavor in Thai iced tea and I don't know what it is, but it, like if I had to describe it, it almost tastes like like popsicle sticks. Don't know if you know what I'm talking about or if that sounds completely insane. Um, and then for appetizers, uh, Paul's mom wanted to get the spring rolls, which I was all for. So we got the spring rolls and then I really wanted to get, and this, if you know me from just from watching my videos, you'll know that this is right up my alley. They had these sweet sesame, what was it? No, not sesame sweet chili glazed, they call them drumsticks, but it was basically like chicken like drumstick things. So we got an order of those, there were two. They were so fucking good. I can't stop thinking about them. When I'm looking for food, I'm looking for texture. I'm looking for a really good texture. Love a lot of sauce and I'm looking for something that's just like savory and very, very flavorful. So these had all of that. The plate, which I think I took a picture of the plate that they came on, it was just like a pool of sauce. So not only were the, it was like the sauce, honestly, it was a little much. Even me, I was like, mm, maybe this is a little bit of a waste of sauce, but the drumsticks themselves were covered in this sweet chili glaze. And then the sauce was just, or the plate was just like a pool of sauce. So I would like take a bite and then I'd like dip it in the sauce and take another bite. And Paul was just sitting across from me watching me eat and he was like, Mariel's in heaven right now. Like this is Mariel's like absolute dream of, of a type of food. And I was like, you obviously he knows me very well. So then for an entree, I got the Siamese, I think they were called the Siamese dream curry noodles. And 
basically what it was was yellow curry noodles which i absolutely love yellow curry noodles so that was right up my alley uh paul got the green curry he loved that his mom got i think it was like a ginger tofu stir fry or something she loved it and then, oh my gosh, I almost forgot about this. I'm not a huge dessert person because I don't have that big of a sweet tooth. But I was like, do you have, you know, do you have a dessert menu? I'd take a look. And the guy's like, well, we actually, we only have one dessert. And so I'm thinking like, oh, okay, it's probably not going to be something I'm going to want. And he's like, and it's an orange chocolate mousse cake. And I was like, if there's one dessert that I'd be like, yeah, I would get that if they had that. It's probably something like that because I used to love chocolate mousse when I was younger. And I love orange chocolate type of things. We ordered one, it was so good. It was so delicious and like the presentation, they had these like orange slices that were dipped in the mousse like as garnishes. It was just, everything about this restaurant was amazing. Highly recommend if you're ever in Portland and I like, I wanna go back but it's like an hour from the house. I'm gonna take you guys out to the porch. Although it's probably very hot. It's like 90 degrees today. Holy shit. I don't know how long I'm gonna last out here. Paul's mom left on Saturday night and then on Sunday, we just kind of wanted to like regroup, clean a little, get organized, get ready for Paul to start his job basically. Um, but we decided to go on a hike. I, it's blueberry season, Maine wild blueberries. If you don't know, like the little blueberries. I have heard at this time of year that if you go hiking, like they're just all over the trails and you can just pick them. So I looked up this hike for us to go on. We went on the hike. We didn't turn off on the right trail that would have taken us to, I don't know if it's like the summit or the vista point, but basically where we wanted to go. So we went the wrong way and it was really hot. It was so buggy. It just wasn't as fun as I thought it would be, but it was a good exercise. Then we just came back and I did some cleaning. I swept. A whole porch. I did a bunch of vacuuming, especially after my parents are here with their four dogs, like running around outside all day, then coming in the house, then going back out, then coming in the house. It gets very, very dirty. So I just wanted to clean the floors, cleaned up the kitchen, you know, just as much as I could. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to share. I was supposed to go into New York for a work event. I was going to be there for two weeks and the event got canceled. I don't even need to say it. Obviously, you guys know how incredibly frustrating this time is when we sort of felt like we were kind of going back to normal somewhat or at least like a, an adjusted normal and now it's like we can't even do that. It's just really depressing. I was just so excited about all the restaurants I was gonna go to in New York. I was like, so excited to vlog, like to do another vegan travel vlog, but um, got canceled so on the bright side I have an extra two weeks of summer that I didn't think I was going to have I feel like I should change scenery again I the lighting's not great let me see if I can turn this on so I had to drive back to Connecticut this lighting is terrible why don't I just go down to the water should I do that oh my gosh it's so warm out Oh my God, the water feels so good. On Tuesday, I actually drove back to Connecticut because Paul had left something there that he really, really needed for work. So I actually drove all the way back and then drove back in the same day. It was not fun, but I know he's stressed and I was happy to do it for him. While I was at the apartment, I saw this bug that we had seen a similar bug a few weeks prior. We had been paranoid that it could have been a cockroach. Turns out that it was a cockroach. So now I'm freaking out about that and just, obviously it sucks. So when we go back to Connecticut, we're gonna have to go to my parents' house for a few days. And then I'm gonna have to drive to the apartment to empty out the entire kitchen to prepare for the exterminator to come and then we'll probably stay at my parents house for at least a few days just because i don't know they say that the stuff isn't toxic but i just don't really feel comfortable with the cats being there just having all of this angst about the apartment and if we should move and where we should move to and i don't think i want to live 
in Connecticut forever, certainly not where we're living right now. Want to live somewhere that has like a small city vibe. Young people, by young I mean in their 30s. I would like it to have a vibe where it's not just like couples with fam, like young couples with families. Like I would want it to be there to be other younger people that don't have kids. I obviously want there to be at least one vegan restaurant that's really good and then probably like multiple others that that sort of vegan food. I would want there to be like coffee shops, yoga studios, just cool places where you can sit and do work and like maybe meet people. I want there to be a good amount of nature. I want definitely need to there to be nature nearby or like it just throughout the city. It doesn't even need to be a city, it can be a town. But that's kind of what I'm looking for and I just don't know if that exists. And I'm sure it does, we just haven't been to enough places and I would kind of rather it be in the Northeast, like I don't really want to leave the Northeast, but I would be open to, to it. So if you have any thoughts of a town that sounds like that, please hit me up because I sort of feel like we should just start our own little vegan town and um, like cool vegans only, like not annoying vegans. Um, just wanted to give you guys an update. I also haven't been feeling super motivated to like film and just not feeling super focused and motivated and, and that's also hard and, and like frustrating because I want to be producing content on a regular basis. I want to grow this channel. I want this to be something that I can make money doing and feel like I'm making a difference. And so when I don't have the motivation to do the work that it takes to do that, it's very frustrating. But obviously I'm trying to be easy on myself because we're all going through a weird time right now and me and Paul in particular are just going through a big adjustment period and I think that this is a moment that will pass. And I also am finding myself very much looking forward to the fall, even as I'm clinging on to the last days of summer. But yeah, in August I always start getting really excited for the fall. I'll end it here for now. I'm getting so hot I could just jump in the water right now. Thanks for listening to my update. I hope you guys are all doing well. Honestly, let me know if you've been feeling the same way about any of this stuff, having a hard time just figuring out your life in any way, or just getting really fucking sick of all of this shit relating to the current moment that we're in. All right, see you next time. Bye.